If you think that DuckDuckGo is protecting you and keeping your information safe, well, I've got some bad news for you. There are two ways to use DuckDuckGo and most people are using it wrong. And if you're one of those people, it kind of defeats the reason for using DuckDuckGo in the first place. Let me fill you in on what's going on. Concerns over our privacy and our information have been increasing more and more as people are realizing that we are literally giving companies our info so they could track us, send us more ads and make us give them more of our money. You've obviously noticed that if you search for something, even if you don't click on any ads that pop up, those tend to be the same companies that follow you all over the web no matter where you go. You've obviously seen that if you land up on some website, you will see their ads all over the web. So as a gentle reminder, it's for you to come back and buy from them. So we're being tracked and tagged, and this is where DuckDuckGo comes in. DuckDuckGo is a search engine. Currently, it is not a browser on the desktop, but there are rumblings that they are building one. It does have a mobile app, so yes, on the mobile, there is a browser version of this. DuckDuckGo is all about privacy. It doesn't collect data about you. It doesn't track links. It doesn't filter search results. It is what a search engine should do, provide you with unfiltered results. This is way different than from Google. Google does collect data on you. It does track your links. It does filter results before they're shown to you. It is less natural organic search results and more, hey, we think that you will likely click on these, so here you go. DuckDuckGo is a privacy search engine that doesn't mine your data. It makes its money from ads that appears based on the keywords, and those ads do not follow you around the web. It also makes some affiliate commission if you click on any ads and you happen to buy that product. So far, so good, right? But, and this is critical to understand, there are two different usages of DuckDuckGo. One is right, and the other one is just wrong. Let me show you what I mean. Right, let's start off by going to DuckDuckGo.com and this is the website and here I'm putting my normal search query as I would if I was doing it on Google. Now there's no extension installed, there's nothing, this is just purely the website. I scroll down, I get my results. Okay, here's my website, LeronSegev.com and let's click on that. So click and everything open. Remember, I'm still doing this within Google Chrome because DuckDuckGo is not a browser. I'm going to click on contact me. Okay, and here is why. So look at that URL. The URL is lironsegev.com forward slash contact me. Okay, this is important. I now am gonna show you on the back end. This is what I can see as the web administrator. I see this is the website, this is Google Analytics. Oh look, someone's active on the contact me page. Okay, and I can click on locations and it tells me United States and tells me Dallas. So you can see that I'm gathering information even though it came from DuckDuckGo.com. Very, very important to understand that. Let's double check that. Let's change it to the About Me page. Okay, so it's LeronSegev.com forward slash about. Go to the website, let's clear the old search results and there it is. So you can clearly see that DuckDuckGo is not protecting my privacy. I'm still able to get all that information as the web administrator. It's just simply routing traffic directly to my website. So if you're using DuckDuckGo.com purely to do your searches, it's doing nothing for you. It's the wrong way to do it. Now let's do this. Right click on the URL and then choose manage search engine. And instead of using Google as the default, make the default DuckDuckGo. Now let's see the difference. So let's go back to Chrome. You can see the little icon has changed. It's no longer Google, now it's searching through DuckDuckGo. And I'm gonna type in the same search query. So Liron Sega, the techie guy, same bits of information come up. Let's look for my website, there it is. I'm gonna click on that. Now remember the only difference between this time and the previous time was that I changed the default search engine from Google to DuckDuckGo instead of going to DuckDuckGo.com and running the query there. Okay, now on my website, I'm gonna look at this URL in the news. Let me open up my Google Analytics and what can you see? Let's go to the beginning. Okay, in the news. So even if you change the default search engine from Google Chrome to DuckDuckGo, it still does not protect your identity. You can see I'm gathering the information. Let's prove that. Let's go to another page called YouTube Growth Strategy. Here is the URL, forward slash YouTube Growth Strategy. Go back, clear that, go back to the overview. And yes, there it is again. 
So once again, showing you that purely using DuckDuckGo as the search engine does not protect your identity. I'm still getting all this information along with a whole host of other information coming straight from your browser. You're still being tracked. Okay, well, if those were the wrong ways to use DuckDuckGo, what's the right way? Well, the right way is to go and add the Google Chrome extension or whatever browser you're using. They've got an extension for that. Click on add to Chrome, click add the extension, and now the game changes. Now it's no longer about launching search queries on DuckDuckGo, but everything gets encrypted. Let me show you this. So now I'm gonna type in the same search query. Do you want give the techie guy? Let's see what pops up. And it's the same kind of results. And a little box pops up at the bottom say, okay, you're now using the extension. So things are actually encrypted and it blocks the trackers. Here is that same website. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna repeat the same exercise. This time, let's click on in the news speaking events. We haven't done that one yet. So liransegev.com forward slash speaking event. Let me fire up my Google Analytics. And as you can see clearly here, speaking events does not actually appear. It's as if it didn't exist. Let's click on contact me. Let's do the same thing again. So Liron Sega forward slash contact me. Remember before it did appear? Now it does not appear. So it's clearly DuckDuckGo extension, it's doing its job. In fact, if you click on the extension, what it does is highlights what is the website, what is the security rating that it currently has for that. It's an encrypted connection and it's blocked one tracker. Which tracker did it block? Let's click on that and it shows you it's blocked at Google Analytics. So it's doing what it's meant to do. In fact, let's prove this. Let's disable the DuckDuckGo extension on this particular website and let's reload the site now. And I'm wondering whether DuckDuckGo, since it's no longer here, whether it will now pop up in Google Analytics. Technically, it should. And yes, it does. So proving beyond all shadow of a doubt that when you don't have the DuckDuckGo Chrome extension and you just use it as a search engine, it doesn't protect your identity. Now, there is one more element about DuckDuckGo that we need to discuss, and that is usability. So yes, DuckDuckGo doesn't track you, but at the end of the day, a search engine's sole purpose is to deliver meaningful answers to your question. For me, this is where Google wins. Having used DuckDuckGo exclusively for over a week, I felt that the results it returned weren't all that great. Websites that really optimize their search engine optimization or SEO took advantage and were ranked higher with less meaningful content. I like having Google be able to search through YouTube and give me answers with timestamps. I like that feature. In fact, when I finally switched back over to Google, there was actually a sigh of relief as the results of the queries were just better quality. What are you finding when using DuckDuckGo? Do you eventually get used to that kind of result? Let me know in the comments below. So if you wanna learn more about total online protection that goes beyond the web browser, then check out this video right over here and check out this video right over here that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Hit that subscribe button before you head out and I'll see you in this video or this video or both. I'll see you in both. Let's go.